Hello everyone. Today's energy talk is about hydroelectric power generation. When you hear the word uh, renewable energy, you may think of some new way to generate power. But hydropower is one of the renewable energy sources that has been around for a long time. In fact, it was the largest renewable energy generation in Japan until it was overtaken by solar power in 2019, four years ago. This is because the topography of the country, surrounded by mountains and a climate with high precipitation, is ideal for hydropower generation. As I mentioned in a previous energy talk, hydropower has been utilized for power generation ever since the first hydropower plant was built in Japan in 1888. It used to be the main source of power generation in Japan. Well, first of all, let me explain how hydropower works. As you know, hydropower generation works by developing water from a high place to a low place and using its potential energy to turn a water wheel, which in turn spins a generator to produce electric power. There are several types of hydropower generation. Some use the flow of river to generate electric power, while others store water in the pond and drop it when needed. These types of hydropower are called general hydropower. When you hear the word hydropower, you may think of dam. This is a typical method of hydropower in which a dam is built to dam up water, the water and store it in a pond. There is another method called pumped storage power generation. It has two ponds, an upper and a lower pond, and pumps up water into the upper pond when electric power demand is low, such as nighttime, and generate power by dropping water into the lower pond when needed to generate electricity. Currently, there are over 2,000 hydropower plants in Japan, most of which are general hydropower plants, and only 20 are pumped storage plants. General hydropower is also responsible for most of the amount of electricity generated. However, general hydropower plants have a total generation capacity of about 22 million kilowatt, while pumped storage power plants have a total output of about 5.6 million kilowatt. In other words, the output per unit of pumped storage power plant is on average 25 times greater. Now, this is because general power hydropower uses natural forces such as river currents, so it is not always possible to obtain a large output. As mentioned earlier, hydropower is a renewable energy source that does not emit carbon dioxide. Furthermore, unlike solar power and wind power, it has the advantage of being able to steadily generate a certain amount of electricity regardless of weather and then other natural conditions. In addition, a pumped storage power generation has both the ability to adjust the supply and demand balance of electricity and the ability to store electricity. This is because it can be used pumped up water from the lower pond when there is a surplus of power supply and to generate electricity when there is a shortage. This capability has become very important in recent years. The reason is that the ratio of renewable energy sources 
that do not emit carbon dioxide, such as solar power and wind power, is inevitably increasing as a countermeasure against global warming. But it depends on the weather conditions and may not be able to generate power when it is needed. It may also generate power when it is not needed. During period of low electricity consumption, for example, in the month of May, solar power generation exceeds power consumption. And the measures to stop solar power generation have already begun to be taken out of necessity. This is waste of green power. For this reason, using up such excess power is an extremely effective function. Of course, there is no point in wasting electricity, but with pumped storage power plants, surplus power can be used to shift generation time to when it is needed. It can be said that it functions like a large storage battery. Originally, pumped storage power plants fulfill an important function by pumping up water using surplus electricity at night when power consumption is lower and generating electricity during the daytime peak hours when the power consumption is higher. However, now solar power generation has greatly increased. Pumped storage power generation contributes to maintaining the supply demand balance by pumping water during the daytime and generating power at night when the sun has set. Despite the above excellent capabilities of hydropower, there has not been much progress in the development of new hydropower plants in recent years. In the next energy talk, I'd like to discuss with you the causes and solutions to this problem. Stay curious about energy. Thank you very much.